trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv Hello everybody, it's Paul Mash TV time again. We're glad that you could join us again today. And we've got a great interview coming up for you in just a moment. But before we get into that, as always, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube and uh, click the bell. And whenever we get a new interview, you'll be notified. And uh, feel free to leave a comment on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you there. And if you're on Facebook, go to facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV which is our official uh, Facebook page, and feel free to like the page, inbox us, comment on the things you see there. And uh, we'd also uh, love to hear from you by email. That's palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And you can use that not just if you're a band or solo artist wanting to be on the show, but if you're simply a fan. We'd love to hear from you as well. And we're going to recap all this for you at the, uh, at the end of the closing credits, so stay tuned for that. And just a minute from Helsinki, Finland, we have uh, Darshan Kumar. And uh, he's a great artist, and I think you're really going to like it. And uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, here's another quick word from Click Jam. So don't go away. We'll be right back. We got history. history, got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me, thinking about what could Well, hello everybody, it's interview time again, and with us we have from Helsinki, Finland, we have uh, Darshan Kumar. Thanks for joining us, Darshan. Yeah, thank you for having me, Paul. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay here, so... Um, I apologize about that. But anyway, uh, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about how it began for you as far as being an artist. I mean, everyone has their own story. Let's hear your story. Yeah, it's a very nice question. Uh, but um, I actually never been an artist as such. I never had the ambition to become an artist. I still don't have an ambition to. Uh, I do this on the side because it keeps me happy and it keeps me uh, satisfied and um, yeah I, uh, in my regular on, on side of my regular job I'm you know making music and uh, feeling content with that uh, activity of mine on the side so yeah and I've been I've been playing my parents were never musicians but so I had to seek help from my family and other families my parents were supportive and I just uh, yeah, I thought I went for some classes as a kid, but I was educational class, classes quite soon. I just thought of uh, doing my own thing and and playing music on, 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 on my own side. So yeah, that's uh, basically my journey. I've uh, never taken things to a level that I would record my own music or, so, or something like that. I just didn't have the money or the budget for it. But with a uh, little bit of the now <laughs> do managed to get, I was able to make some music with it and make it a bit more serious yeah so that's currently my small journey <laughs> <laughs> okay well um you do pretty good at what you do i've seen your music video which we're going to show in just a couple minutes here um well why don't you tell us about some of the influences that uh, you grew up with that helped you in your songwriting style yeah um um, I I would say that as I've I've never liked one specific music. Uh, as a kid, I've listened to South Indian classical, uh, to North Indian classical, to heavy metal, to indie, to pop, to rock. I remember listening to this one band, which probably nobody knows that much. It's called Michael Loans to Rock. It's a small Danish band, I think. And I used to listen to that a lot. And I listened to very gen gen generic bands like Metallica, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've also been in a band in India, uh, which was very doom, dark, depressive metal as well. <laughs> so we have made like, really dark music as well. I used to growl in that band, but that's... Low. So I've actually, to be very frank, I've had no focus on what kind of a genre I would 
like to be part of, but I keep switching. I keep, I've, yeah, I've noticed myself that I've just gone, you know, in some music and I enjoy all kinds of music because of that. So it's, uh, it's actually, it becomes easy for me to talk about music to any kind of person, uh, including rap. <laughs> Okay. Well, well, that's good that you're multi-genre because that's what we are as a multi-genre show. So uh, I'm glad that you like all kinds of different types of music. So, uh, well, tell everybody out there if they would like to hear your music or like to uh, see your website and so forth. Tell us where they could find you at. Yeah. Um, currently, uh, I don't have a website as such. I would definitely uh, recommend people to have a nice idea to have a website so it's it's a bit more focused but currently i just have a, a youtube <laughs> video actually i have two youtube videos but the one that i am uh, the, the one that i recently currently uh, released was and that video um is yeah uh, I, I don't know if i should already describe that right now but yeah it's it's in short the video is about my dream uh, literally my dream and i go to bed and what i dream and uh, it's inspired by normal life stresses. We all take stress. Maybe some people take more stress. Some people take less stress. I also take, take stresses. Uh, but, but, but my dream was that seven hours of time in my life where I would actually use as a, as a way of down because I know that when I close my eyes, I can imagine whatever I want and I can be in a peaceful environment uh, with a... Uh, disturbances so I would use that as a way to recoup myself and then be fresh again and to, uh, so so yeah at least this, this song is about that it's called Vartaman uh, the, the literal meaning in English is called present so being present in your dream in your dream uh, and living that dream uh, every night <laughs> Okay, and, and uh, which one of those two did you say this one we're going to watch is coming up? Uh, at the first one or the second one? Uh, it's, yeah, uh, so the, uh, the, well, there was one music video that I did release around two years. It was about uh, being stressless in life uh, because, again, it probably, <laughs> but it was not having stress in life and how you can avoid stress. Uh, but the one that I recently released was, was the, about the dream and that's called the the, the vartaman um, it's called okay. the present and, and that's the one we'll be watching uh, in just a minute right <laughs> but, okay uh do, do you have any yes. Of, yes okay do you have any of your music anywhere on streaming like itunes or anything like that or is it just youtube yeah yeah no i after after i got some nice input they said that I should put it everywhere. Okay. So um, just like many other artists, I went to this uh, uh, distributor sites, which will distribute your music for you. Uh, and then I uh, um, put it if possible. So it's in iTunes, it's in um, uh, Spotify, music, and I. So it's in, it's in all major platforms. I would say currently available in addition to you. Okay, well, everybody get out there and get Darshan's music. I know he love you for that. And uh, we're going to watch that music video in just a moment. But uh, before we do, I want to thank you again, Darshan, for coming on the show. Uh, maybe sometime we can have you back on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Be okay. Very kind of you. Okay, and here's Darshan's uh, music video coming up in just a second. So don't go away. We'll be right back. आंखें बंद शुरू कथा दूर तक है आसमां हरा भरा नन्ही सी छत नन्हा साये मकान छोटे चां बड़ी है पना Na 
पर्व की बारिश भिगा के गई हर तरह खुद की सांसों में खुश है ये मन मेरा सस्ते खाब चाकी निर्दोषिया बस मैं हूं मैं हूं मैं खुशबू है हर जगह धीमी हरकत धीमा सावर तमाम दिव्य डालों की शर्माती संतोषिया रहने दो रहने दो यहां जुड़वी ये परछाइया कल का डर है कर्म की सच्चाइया वापस आने की छवि बेकरार ना खुली आरो कथा समा 